The weather in Greece is good for a large part of the year and the journey from other places in Europe does not take long. Watch this video and discover 15 most beautiful Greek islands. The Greek islands are mainly associated with azure blue sea and perfect weather. To fully enjoy the beautiful sun and holiday aura, it's best to go to Greece in the period from early spring to late autumn. It is much warmer on the islands than in mainland Greece. The selection of the island depends on personal preferences and expectations. The Greek islands are located in the Aegean and Ionian seas. There are over two and a half thousand islands around Greece, only 165 of which are inhabited. That's exactly where tourists from all over the world are looking for relaxation. While visiting the Greek islands, you can spend your free time actively, get to know the culture and admire numerous monuments. There's also possibility of practicing water sports, so it truly is a perfect place to spend your summer holidays. The first island worth seeing is, of course, Crete which is the largest of the Greek islands. There are many monuments of ancient civilization in Crete. One of the most noteworthy places to visit is the city of Hercules, Heraklion, where the Museum of Cretan Culture, which collects exhibits and monuments from various historical times is located. One cannot forget the town of Chania, which is perfect for careless vacation. While visiting Crete, you must also see the island of Spinalonga, which is located close to the coast. It is also referred to as the Lepers Island because in the past people with leprosy were sent there. The landscape of Crete is not only sandy beaches, but also rocks and mountains which makes it a great place for tourists who value active recreation. For example, you can go to the White Mountains in the National Park of Saint Maria, which is home to many rare species of plants and animals. The island of Kos is located near the Turkish coast in the Aegean Sea. Nature is undoubtedly its greatest wealth and everyone will enjoy its stunning views. It is worth noting that there are no large resorts on the island, so you can count on a quiet and intimate holiday there. Your sightseeing list should include towns with Greek gods' temples, for instance, Asclepian, the sanctuary of Asclepius, which is one of the most important places on the island. It used to be a sanatorium and a school of medicine, but only some of the facilities have survived to this day. You can also try the delicacies of classic, local Greek cuisine during your stay on the island of Kos. Santorini is a charming Greek island that attracts tourists not only with its beautiful beaches, but also with an unusual history and rich flora. It's worth visiting the capital of the island, Fira, where you can find characteristic buildings with blue roofs. Santorini is referred to as the Island of Love, as many people come here on their honeymoon. During your stay on Santorini, you must visit the town of Kamai, next to which the Black Beach is located. It was created as a result of volcanic ashes deposition. The island has original, volcanic landscape that creates interesting rock formations. It is worth adding that UNESCO recognized Santorini as the most beautiful island in the world. Both lovers of blissful relaxation and people who like active recreation will feel good on the island. There are numerous water sports centers, recreation facilities and resorts located in Santorini. It all makes it impossible for the tourists to be bored. Another island in the Greek archipelago worth mentioning is Akinthos. It is one of the most often visited Greek island located in the Ionian Sea. It is a perfect place for people who want to relax and rest. It is worth remembering that Zakynthos has much more to offer than just beautiful sandy beaches. It is home to the renowned Shipwreck Bay with Navagio Beach which can often be seen in tourist catalogues and on postcards. While visiting the island, you must also see Zigia Beach where water contains a lot of sulfur. A bath in such water can significantly improve the condition of the skin. There are also bays in Zakynthos where Coretta sea turtles live. If you are looking for night entertainment and luxury resorts you should be delighted there too. There are many opportunities to spend your free time on the island. A large number of restaurants and hotels means that everyone should find something for themselves. If you are looking for an interesting and unique Greek island, consider Rhodes located in the Aegean Sea, which is an extremely popular travel destination. 
the sun in Rhodes shines for over 300 days a year. The weather is almost always good there. There are sandy beaches on the island that are included in the blue flag list, which only comprises of the cleanest and most people-friendly beaches. Lovers of kite and windsurfing, diving and other water sports should not complain about the lack of attractions too. The island of Rhodes is also rich in centuries-old history and monuments from different eras. Mandrake Port with a church known from postcards, which serves as a lighthouse, is also located on the island. Corfu is also a popular holiday destination. It is a mountainous island with picturesque landscapes. It is also the greenest Greek island and it's best to visit it in spring. Fans of water sports will also be pleased, because the infrastructure is well developed, including a lot of water equipment rentals. Being in Corfu, you must visit Kerkera, the capital of the island, which according to some people, is the most interesting city in Greece. You can find numerous restaurants serving classic Mediterranean cuisine there. Mykonos is an island that is very popular among young and active tourists. The island has many resorts with modern restaurants and clubs. The greatest icons of pop culture and world-class celebrities also spend their holidays here. Sailing enthusiasts like to come here as well, because the conditions for sailing on Mykonos are almost perfect. One of the largest Ionian islands is Kefalonia. It should appeal to tourists who prefer active rest, but away from the hustle and bustle and the crowds. The island is mostly mountainous, but there are also sandy beaches. It's worth adding that Ithaca, the island from which the legendary Odysseus came, is located in the immediate vicinity. Azure Blue Sea, magnificent views and beautiful landscape are the greatest advantages of Kefalonia. The charming island of Thassos is located in the north of the Aegean Sea. It is located far from the most popular places in Greece, so it's been able to maintain its natural atmosphere. Of course, there are no large resorts here, so it is a perfect place for people who prefer quiet holidays. Although the island is rather small, there are many places to visit. Skiados is located in the northern Sporides archipelago and is a rather less known Greek island. It must be however admitted that it is an extremely charming place. It delights with picturesque buildings and beaches with golden sand. You can certainly forget about the whole world here and have a good rest. The island looks magical. There are over 60 sandy beaches on it and it is worth adding that the season begins at the beginning of May there. Another less known, but also noteworthy island is Lefkada. There is a slightly different atmosphere there than on other, more crowded Greek islands. It is a good place for older people who mainly come there to rest. When planning a vacation in the Greek islands, you can consider going to Samos. This peaceful and intimate island attracts more and more tourists each year. People spending their holidays here can visit small towns, but also spend time among olive groves. Another picturesque island is naturally Lesbos, located in the Aegean Sea. It is the third largest island in Greece with sandy beaches and charming towns full of local restaurants, atmospheric places and monuments. It is also worth to see the petrified forest that was formed 20 million years ago and is one of the most important attractions in this region. El Afanizi is a very small island located in the southwest of Crete. It is distinguished by pink sand, characteristic for this island. It definitely has beautiful views to offer and it is also a good place to visit with children, because the water around the island is relatively shallow, the bottom is mild and the waves are usually gentle. The last island we want to introduce is Naxos, where summer is extremely hot. People who would like to do some sightseeing on the island should come here in May or October, because the temperature is a little lower then and you can easily explore the sights. It is quite difficult to get to the island, there is only one small airport here. It's best to come by plane from the Athens. The easiest way to travel around the island is by car, which can be rented on the spot. High rocks with white sides make an amazing impression here. Marble occurs naturally here. One of the most important and the oldest churches in Greece, Panagia Drosiani, is also located here. Staying on the island, we have access to a real paradise for divers. The island is surrounded by huge coral reefs and shipwrecks. 
subscribe to our channel, select the bell, receive notifications about new videos.